Hello again, dear viewer, and welcome back to a little bit of that Risk of Rain 2. And today, we are still on the grind, trying to get that final boss kill. Today, we are going with Engineer, because I heard a tip from someone on the internet recently that the final phase of the final boss does not steal your items from the turrets. So hopefully we can use that to even the odds a little bit, because we are having quite a bit of trouble with the final boss here. We are going with a fully mobile engineer set today. We've got the alternative mines, and we've got the alternative ship. These are both skills I've yet to show on camera fully. So please enjoy the view. Engineer is a little funky. You've got a a little more worried about um, pre-planning than a lot of other characters, but uh, that's not to say that you can't respond to things flexibly. That's merely to say that you need to be a little more careful about where you're placing your resources because you have limited capability to just pull things out. That's okay, as long as you remember that your turrets are disposable and they have a relatively short cooldown for the power level that they are, um, you will do just fine as Engineer, even without the uh, shield to lean on. In fact, I find the shield on Engineer tends to not really be that useful in my experience, but that might just be a playstyle thing, really. Either way, I am rocking my Engineer skin, which is proof that I'm not trash at this game. I'm just not terribly good. <laughs> you know, I have cleared on Monsoon, even if I'm wiping on Rainstorm continuously over the course of this series. Okay, we are doing just fine for time at the moment. Uh, let's get this offensive chest, get ourselves a set of glasses. Now that is quite nice. Getting glasses this early is never a bad thing. I think I want this leg. Uh, overall, not a great set of items for me there. I do appreciate, though, that the uh, secondary magazine we had the option to pick up there does give us extra mines to place down. Um, like the literal maximum amount of mines you can support at any given time is increased if you use the secondary magazine on engineer so it's not quite as bad as some people may make it out to be but uh it's still not great you know still not a, a very good white but it's definitely not something that i'm unhappy to see oh that's right okay let's get this tougher times out of this multi-shop and then i think we're good to head out i think i'm accidentally canceling my turret or my missiles firing which i do not recall being an issue Previously, maybe a stealth nerf from the patch. Bit of a shame. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Okay, seems to have gone out just fine that time. Hmm. Interesting. I will continue to investigate. Either way, we are officially behind pace to head out of here. That's okay, because there should be a geyser right here. That will take us up to the teleporter. And we've got all of our mines ready. It is a shrine of the mountain, which is a bit spooky. So perhaps we want to place our second turret before we activate the teleporter. That's okay. It gives us time to open this equipment chest and get the crowdfunder. So, you know. Yeah, it's just how it is sometimes, you know. What is in that printer over there? Robar? Robar. Here, take some free damage. Okay. We've got our turrets working on one of these units, and we've got my, uh, myself working on the other guy. 
And our turrets do such nice, consistent damage. It doesn't matter that their individual shots aren't too big, because they just are so good at hitting them. Very nice for risk control, as I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> Man, this spider mine is really trying to hit the stone titan. like they're working just fine now, but they were definitely acting a little funky before. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I think... Hmm. Maybe it's just like a very specific interaction where I'm accidentally cancelling out of it at like the last frame or something. Okay, that's a good beetle. Ooh, RNG portal feels good. I think they buffed, uh, they did buff the rate of it, so it's not as special as it used to be. Um, but I think it was only like 10% or something. Let's, uh, it wasn't too much. Um, two bandoliers is, you know, there. It's not super thrilling. The important thing is that it gives us the turret back. And that's a very powerful thing to have. I don't want any of the items in our cauldrons here, and I don't particularly care which stage two I'm going to. So I think it's good for me to just head down here and head to the void, because we do have a bustling fungus, which means we will not have any real health issues, as that is the primary problem with the void. Just need to keep our wits about us. Uh, Chrysalis got changed quite a bit recently. I've only used it once, and I did not enjoy my time with it. Um, so maybe I will work on it later in the void. I'll work on it here in a little bit. But uh, so far, not a big fan of new Chrysalis, but I wasn't a big fan of old Chrysalis to begin with. So all in all, a neutral change. Okay, mushrooms means I have to worry about turret placement in a different way that. And these guys also have quite an annoying amount of health. That's fine. The cool thing about the mushroom uh, get is that they are pretty dang slow. And uh, we are also artillery units, so we also don't need direct line of sight to see uh, to get them. Go get them, rockets. Nice. Uh, extra nice that our turrets seem to be doing just fine with tanking the fungus damage. If I can somehow... Do they... Ah, uh, they don't crawl up the walls. That looks really goofy, though. Okay. What do we get? Another Monster Tooth. Just fine. Um, Monster Tooth is pretty good these days, honestly. Um, the percentage health that they gave Monster Tooth and Med Kit really did wonders for them in terms of a power standpoint. And so I think um, the Monster Tooth is actually pretty good right now. And just like that, the fungus takes hold. Yeah, Cautious Slug is a bit annoying, but uh, we still, we're on a very, very good place to have mushrooms, uh, because we can really just kind of lay the mines down, and I bet they will do the rest. So, now I have the intel that one of them is right there. We can harass it. There we go. thing to commentate over standing around in the middle of the thing. The void is super 
nice on engineering, and I think that's one of the things I like about them. The Void is ordinarily a very, very sketchy place, very stressful. But, uh, with engineer, with the turrets, with the fungus, you know, with the mines, there's a lot of things that the Void does that are a lot easier to deal with. And I appreciate that. Engineer is really cool. I really like my gimmick characters, and Engineer is among the more interesting ones. Um, and that is, it, like, I don't play Engineer in a lot of other games. Like, I, I don't play Engineer in Team Fortress. I don't really play Team Fortress. But uh, I don't play Engineer when I do play Team Fortress. Although I probably would if I got to do it, but that's beside the point. Um, you know, builder classes tend to be a little slow to set up. The setup time versus the destruction time is something that's always gotten me, and I think the, the two turrets on a 30 second cooldown uh, is what really helps me out with that, because I feel like I can just place my turret down and not have to worry about it, but at the same time it's not like super duper disposable, I still have to play around it. It creates this nice balance. charges, please. I am very unbiased in my opinions on this matter, because I do not play the classes with really good arts, like Engineer and Artificer. Those classes would not benefit whatsoever from an introduction of a similar item, and saying so would probably constitute perjury, if we're being honest. But, uh, that's fine. Another Monster Tooth! I went over my whole feel on that. It's still fine, but Monster Tooth is still not very good, so <laughs> I would like some more interesting items, please. I am getting, I think, my last white coming up here, so I would like that to be something more useful than a Monster Tooth. A tri the tri-tip dagger was a step in the right direction, but it was not a very big one. Um, I would like glasses. Glasses would be the the white to get in this scenario, but of course, can't uh, beggars cannot be choosers, as the saying goes. And honestly, jellyfish uh, was a really good a really good get for us because they're flimsy and immobile, and my turrets can just gun them down. So a good amount of the time, when one of these enemies spawns, it is just a non-threat. You know, no matter how comfy you are in the void, you can't, you can't be too cocky. Because, uh, the void has a way of playing tricks on you. Um, any run can be ended by getting a bad red at the end, for sure. Um, so, you can never quite count yourself as totally done, uh, with the void in terms of the challenge. I don't know. The way I phrased that was very odd, but it's mostly just because I'm straining to come up with things to say during this boring-ass segment. Personal shield generator is weird. <laughs> Whoop, okay, I need to go up, actually. Hey, give me a tick. Nope, okay, thank you. Yeah, I just kind of get lucky on the, <laughs> on the placement to get a... Or on the timing, I should say, to get a tick out of the fungus. But that's fine. God, it's so hot today. Um, luckily, I've got a fan trained right on me, and hopefully my audio setup is so that it's not just blowing directly into the microphone. But given my my setup here, I doubt that is the case, which is totally fine. Uh, the mushrooms can be quite difficult to hit with my stuff. But uh, that's why we bring the missiles. The missiles are a nice, consistent uh, damage threat from the engineer, which is something you do not get from the level shield, and something that very greatly helps your chances of not tearing your hair out when you're trying to kill things as it's class. So I would highly recommend it. I really thought I would miss the bubble shield more when I swapped, but I really don't. Oh my god, my chair. Okay. There. Got one of those plastic things so that my chair doesn't rip my carpet out, but it's bent slightly because it's plastic and uh, the edges are coming off of my carpet.
carpet, so it sometimes catches the wheels, and it's, uh, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, so far so NG. Ooh, yeah, stealth kit. Okay, stealth kit poses some interesting threats, because now things can avoid my turrets. Now that is something I didn't quite realize before. I, it's amazing. I don't think I've ever gotten stealth kit in a void with engineer that I like been solo on. I play a lot of multiplayer in this game. Um, at least I used to. My friends are all uh, doing different stuff these days, but that's fine. Uh, this is essentially multiplayer for me. I'm talking to all of you guys. So I'm glad you came to join me today. that I am gonna improve in the future, because I do not have anyone to disappoint with my bad commentary at the moment. So, that is nicey-nice. I'm just trying to focus on uploading once a day for now. I figure consistent uploads are better for my channel in the long term, and it is something I would like to keep up throughout my career if possible. I'm already talking about it like it's a career. It's not really a career at the moment, but uh, certainly something that I would be very interested in making into a career. But, uh, you know, with something like this, you uh, don't have a career until you have a hobby. You know? And right now, Whisker Brain is my hobby. Oh, can't lock on with the missiles either. How sketchy. do still seek the heat, so they can see them, they just can't lock onto them. Very intriguing. Yeah, see, this stealth kit adds a whole new dimension to this, uh, this here void. So we were sitting pretty before, but with the addition of the alloy vultures in the, uh, in the stealth kit, we are not looking as hot. Ukulele, super huge pickup. Um, definitely gonna be super, 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 super good for us, um, getting that consistent AoE damage out of our turrets. Um, you know, and our AoE damage as Engineer isn't bad. The mines are very good at it, in fact, but, um, we are not very easily able to get a bunch of enemies in a room, and we're not easily able to hit an individual enemy with any of our own stuff, except for the harpoons, which are the of course. Do the mines see the invisible guys? I certainly hope so. Yo, this engineer turret that's been sitting out in the void the whole time has really been coming through. Uh, the, f the single fungus on engineer is such a massive power increase, it's actually kind of ridiculous. And it's very- I love it. I love that this dumb, bad item is specifically good on this character. Oh, yo, alien head. That is a pretty good get for our bread, because as far as I'm aware, alien head literally doesn't do anything on, um, monsters. Maybe specific monsters, like bosses and stuff, um, that have, like, uh, an internal cooldown for, say, like, a stone titan eye laser, perhaps. Um, you might see the alien head actually applying to them, but I do- I am not currently aware of any situation where alien head actually does anything to an enemy in the void, and that is a very, very nice thing. Okay, it- turns out that the mines can see invisible people. So as long as I stay in my nest of mines, I am safe from all harm. And that is fine by me. You can bet on it. And it looks like a nice, clean void run. Almost no trouble whatsoever. It's gonna get us our first red, and I hear a lunar coin drop as well. Oh, 
with Tesla Coil. It feels like we've been getting Tesla Coil every video lately, but Tesla Coil on Engineer is quite interesting because you get three times the Tesla Coil because you have three times the entities to get your items. Oh, uh, that Lunar Coin drop might have been the red dropping now that I think about it. I do not see it if it is there. That's fine. I still have nearly 42,000 of them. Um, those are not real. I cheated them in. I've, uh, I don't know if the episode made it to air where I explained <laughs> the reason I did that, but I don't know. I find that not having access to Lunar items is lame and not being able to pick your stage four is lame. So, um, that is why I cheated in a bunch of Lunar Coins. I personally, I, like, I get Artificer legit, and Artificer is the only thing you need to spend lots of Lunar Coins on, like more than two or three. So I feel justified in um, getting a bunch of Lunar Coins cheated in after you get Artificer, because at that point, it's only like two or three Lunar Coins per item. And at that point, like, the grinding is not going to be worth the payoff. It's just going to it's just gonna be annoying. So that's my rationale for cheating in all of these Lunar Coins. Also, um, when we're playing multiplayer, you'll, uh, you'll end up spending a lot more Lunar Coins. And uh, I like my friends to have options as well. Some of these new Lunar items are very fun as well. Very fun and often pretty strong to boot. Looks like I'm not going to be able to get up there, which is a bit of a shame. But that is okay. Um, Engineer, I don't need any specific um, lunar items because I'm not running the mobile turrets. If I run the spider turrets, I like to use the Visions of Heresy um, for an alternate mouse one. But um, given the default mouse one of my uh, stationary turrets is very long range and very accurate, and they have an aimbot, I am not going to get that because the charge-based system of Visions of Heresy causes these little pauses, and um, those little pauses are death to a stationary turret. Okay, I need to get moving here. Hopefully, the Beetle Queen will not be too threatening. But given our freaking look at this go! Given the absolutely massive power boost that we get from the Void, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Yo-ho! Razor Wire is also pretty dang good on Engineer, um, because the turrets are unable to avoid most damage, you see. So having the razor wire for a little bit of retaliation damage is pretty useful. Oh, this is a good problem to have. I just wasted an entire personal missile launcher because there were no enemies. And you know, your mouse one is weird and unresponsive and funky as engineer. Um, but honestly, like, the damage is pretty good. And you don't need to kill it yourself, you just need to soften it up for the turret. And, um, you know, I think one of Engineer's big strengths is their ability to just go. You know, you can place a turret down where there's enemies, and that turret will take care of those enemies and get you a little bit of extra money. And then you can just go about your merry way and loot the floor. And I think, honestly, that helps you save a lot of time over course of a run. You can do it on other characters, of course, but it is a little bit harder, and you've got to be a little further along in the power curve in order to take full advantage of it. And I think the sooner you can get to the point where all you're really doing is running through the stage, killing enemies as you go without breaking too much stride, and um, getting uh, enough money along the way to loot every chest that you find. Once you're at that point in the risk of rain run, that's when you really start going crazy. That's when you really start popping off, you know? This seems like a good place to put the turret. War horn is cool. <laughs> uh, I, it doesn't really do much for us. Attack speed is not a loved trait on Engineer. It does make that mouse one more responsive, but the loading mechanism is the primary issue. It's, uh, 
I do realize the subtle irony in the fact that I was complaining uh, last episode about the rebar puncher, saying that I didn't think it was very fun to use because of its unresponsiveness. Um, I do understand the irony of me praising Engineer for the same thing. But, uh, shush. I don't really have a good rebuttal for that. I just think Engineer is neat. I think it has to do with the, like, the beggar's bazooka aspect, where it, um, loads in all of the grenades at once and shoots them all out like that. I think that's a much more fun, uh, a much more fun way to handle that than just a big single shot that you can charge up, unless it's, like, a big old charge, and it does a lot of damage. And I don't think the rebar puncher does enough damage to uh, make that charge time feel fun to me. Alright, we summoned imps, but we have the missile launcher, so there it goes. Ah, nice chill NG run this night. It's so hot today. I've mentioned it before, but it's that hot, it's really worth mentioning. It's like 30 Celsius. Something ridiculous like that. Like a hundred something Imperial. But like really, you know, and I had to work in that too. I work outside in the heat in a face mask right now. And uh, it is not pleasant, especially because I work at a pretty low status position, so um, customers do not feel it necessary to be nice. <laughs> All of the time, anyway. Quite a few quite a few people are very nice. I had uh, a very nice Muslim lady give me a Dr. Pepper today at work, and that was very sweet of her. It was very well thought, uh, very thoughtful. So, you know, when you have, uh, when you have four jobs, you know, you just, like, you're fresh out of college jobs, Hill workers and stuff. Um, try to pay attention to the little things, because you're gonna hate. You're gonna hate it no matter what. You might as well like the parts you can, you know? And that, you know, the same, uh, well, similar. I should not say the same. Similar advice could apply to life, you know? It's gonna suck sometimes, but, you know, you gotta pay attention to the moments where it's not, or else you're just gonna hate it the whole time. Ah, uh, let's get this gold shrine, because I didn't last run. And, uh, it will also be an even greater power boost for us. Um, one of the places the new shrine can spawn is down here. It does not look like we were fortunate enough to get it this time. It looks like we are fortunate enough to be able to get on top of this cliff here. I believe there are no pathing, uh, there's no pathing logic up here. I've had a, I've had a friend camp out up there to, uh, poke away at a bunch of imp overlords before, and presumably if there were pathing logic up on that cliff, we would be able to, uh, they would be able to teleport up there. But they are, in fact, funny. Which is very interesting. Nine, on red. Yeah, I, there were several items in there that I would have liked, but I always go for reds from those adaptive chests. Um, like, worst case scenario, I let it time out and it's a normal chest again. Um, I'm not getting the frickin' bull shrine, it's gonna take too long, and I'm, I'm gonna get bored. <laughs> oh, jeez, Clay Dune Strider. I haven't fought a Clay Dune Strider in a while. Maybe I can get a Mired Urn. Mired Urn is not good on Engineer, uh, because it attacks friendlies. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that. I'm actually not going to take that. Mired Urn is a very, in, uh, very cool item, but the thing about Mired Urn is that it is all characters. It is not all enemies. So um, while my turrets are in combat, they will be sucking health from me. And I, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to understand why that is not a particularly good idea for us. So unfortunately, we are going to have to skip a yellow, which feels really bad. Um, but actually, we should scout around for some equipment barrels um, on this stage just for the last little bit and see if we can get a recycler. Because 
if we can get a recycler, that will recycle into a random yellow. And um, a lot of those are useful for us, really. I would love a molten perforator, but I, it's just because I haven't gotten one yet. And it would probably actually, it would probably be really good for the turrets. Um, based on my understanding of how it works, anyway. I'm not done. But the, uh, the big get for us would probably be a little disciple. Because um, we are sprinting around an awful lot. And uh, having the little disciple do some passive damage as we sprint around and jumping around our turrets and such. Um, it would be nice to have that extra damage. Okay, one quick scan for equipment barrels. Is that a lockbox I haven't opened? Yes, it is a lockbox I have opened. I love the little the little jetpack hover engineer does. It feels very it feels very in character. Ooh, Kajaro's band. How much do these do? Five hundred percent. Okay, so our missiles can proc Kajaro's band. Um, I don't know if our turrets will be capable of doing so. Not without like a sticky bomb or something, probably. That's fine. If anything, we want more control over when Kajara's man goes off, not less. Okay, unfortunately, it looks like there are not any equipment barrels around, so we will have to forego our item this floor, which feels pretty bad, but I really do not want to mess up this run by taking an item that is not worth getting. <laughs> so, I will take the safe route, the secure route, and I will go forward into the bizarre between time. Gamer juice. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do the Hellfire Tincture Strat. Uh, that's not very good on, the, uh, on this character, actually. Oh, decisions. I think I'm gonna go for the uh, Fire Zone. I don't remember what it's called offhand. Because uh, I think I'm gonna be able to to deal with lots of smaller enemies a lot easier than I'm going to be able to deal with the Alloy Worship unit. Okay. Nice and simple uh, Bizarre Between Time here. Chest cost 168, which is a pretty good rate. So I picked up the Hellfire Tincture because we have at least one Razor Wire. We actually have two Razor Wire, which is even better. Um, because the Hellfire Tincture does small damage rapidly to us, um, it will also, and also our turrets, um, we can use it like so, to just completely melt a dude. And, uh, the buffs that the item itself got do not hurt at all. It is a, a larger radius and a longer duration. It's just generally better. Um, which is nice, because it was already pretty good. Um, I guess I should pick up the Effigy of Grief before I talk trash about how the Effigy of Grief is still bad. Um, but, uh, Effigy of Grief, it is not. <laughs> um, I would like to see more of the Lunar items become not strictly worse than some good items. I would like Effigy of Grief to be better if it's not already. I would like, um, I would like Corpse of Moon to be good. Oh, the, the, uh, the razor wire is just so nice. The razor wire strat is so strong. And it's really cool, too. It's, a uh, you know, like, usually if you want to get crazy on a run, you get, like, j multiple gestures of the drowned and the gamer juice and stuff like that. Um, but it's really fun to see these sort of funky other builds coming out every once in a while. Uh, I would really like to I would really like to experiment with a forgive me now build. But uh, I do not have I have not done so yet. Okay, we definitely have enough of the chest now. Uh, the red whip is nice. Um placing oh no, I thought placing down your uh, your mines did not put in combat, but it does in fact do so. Of a change. 2251, Clover, 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 and uh, Wake of Vultures is fine. Um, it'll be pretty nice for our turrets to get that extra damage from the electric effect, honestly. 
I, I don't even know what the deal is with shield generator and one-shot protection anymore, because I know it messes with it, but I don't know how. <laughs> and I'm too, too lazy to look it up. I just trust that picking up items is a good idea, unless it is a very specific edge case. Okay, I need $11 to get into that, but I need $0 to get into this. So, let's do that. Even more shields. I hope that people are mad about all of the shields that I'm taking, because I think that is a good thing. <laughs> I would not... I, I don't want to just be the guy who does meta shit all the time. I want to be the guy who gets a little crazy, a little zany, you know? A little, a little funky here and there. Yeah, this build's pretty strong. This build is pretty, pretty strong. Um, we are in a very good spot coming in here. With the with the Tesla coil and the Hellfire tincture and the razor wire. We've got quite a lot of radial damage, quite a lot of crowd control. Okay, I think I want to just get going. I could go into that cave, but I think because we have our red and because we have our everything else, I do not need to stick around here too much more. We got pretty lucky with our combat shrine rolls there, which allowed us to speed up the process of farming for the chest quite a bit. Um, we do not usually make it out of stage four in such a good time. I would say we're about 10 minutes ahead of uh, when I usually check the timer coming out of stage four, which is a uh, pretty huge deal for our scaling, honestly. Alright, die. Thank you. <laughs> ah, razor wire. Multi perforator! Yo! Yo, new item! New item high! Oh, this is. Uh, this item looks really cool, too. Molten Perforator. Chance on hit to fire magma balls. Where is it? It's on the right arm there. Looks pretty sick, if I must say. What is with our crit rate? Oh, I guess um, we do have a 30% crit rate, first of all. And if we crit the uh, Tesla Coil, it crits all of the hits, so. Show me this move. Ooh! Yeah, show me that Molten Perforator. Do you want to scrap something? I think we can scrap the mythkits and the fresh meat. Um, and you know what? Scrap the shield gems, too. Alright, now we've got five scrap to mess around with. I have decided that instead of worrying about uh, how Shield Generator messes with my one-shot protection, I will simply avoid taking them. <laughs> if I can merely scrap them every time, then I will not have a problem. And the best way to solve a problem is to never have one. Alright. I think we got that pill in a good enough period of time. That we're gonna have a little bit of money coming in here. Indeed, we are. Primordial teleporter aligns with the moon. I don't think we are quite strong enough to face Mithrix, honestly. So I think I'm gonna go for another looper here. I would like our turrets to be a little bit stronger. listening to the chill-ass vibes of the, um, I believe this is the rain that was once known as purple, or something along those lines. It's a, it's a Prince joke. <laughs> On the soundtrack. And it's a, a very nice track, honestly. Oh, wow, the Molten Perforator is so cool looking. I was, uh, I was hoping for the balls to be a little more, uh, spicy, honestly, like homing in on enemies and stuff. Um, but I'm definitely not unhappy with this, like, rain hellfire down upon your foes stuff that we've got going on right now. Okay, more monster teeth. Very nice and useful for us. 
Now, we will want to keep an eye on our 3D printers around here, because the potential value we can get out of them is pretty freaking huge. You know what, I could probably scrap the Warhorn too, because it doesn't affect my turrets at all. Is that a cleansing pool? No, I'm just mistaking it for a cleansing pool. Oh, energy drink is fine, I suppose. Helps us scoot along at a better clip. I think that's gamer juice. Oh, it's a meteorite. Whatever. Meteorite is the opposite of what we're looking for. I don't believe I sh have a need to explain why. <laughs> Let's just pop this, get rid of all the enemies around us, and get our shrine reward, which is a shield generator and a lockbox, which has a tricip dagger. I was about to say Rusty Knife, like, the f that's the one from the first game. I don't actually play the first game anymore. Like, I played the first game for a while, but it's certainly not nearly as as uh, experienced with that one as I am with Risk of Rain 2, by a long shot. Honestly, I love fireworks. We've got a bunch of them now. How many do we have? I don't even know where they are anymore. We've got three fireworks. So what, I think that's like 15? fireworks uh, at 300 each, so that's actually 4,500% damage every single time we interact with anything, which is super good. Oh, ukulele, you shouldn't have. Alright, let's get this Will-O-The-Wisp going. I saw a wisp printer as well. That's a, a fun temptation, but I do not have need for it. The uh, the cool thing is that the Wisp would be an item that the final boss can't use, but if he kills one of my turrets, then it would be. <laughs> oh, ATG missile. Very, very nice pickup there. Honestly, the, the one-shot protection changes were good for the health of the game. I would say that uh, the, uh, the interaction between one-shot protection and shape glass was probably a bit too good, uh, if we're being honest with ourselves here. It was very strong and fun, you know, doing a, a whole load of damage is cool and all, but, uh, you know, it was sort of centralizing. If you run didn't get, like, a couple shape glass and, like, a gesture or two, uh, you were not uh, in a very good place. And I think that um, the nerf to that playstyle will hopefully open up some more avenues for uh, experimentation. I want to get the money for this big chest before I leave. to open the small chest is so great, but I need to open the big chest first. Where is it? Is that Lemurian still alive? Get out of here. There. I feel like I'm critting a lot. And like, I'm critting a good amount. But I'm definitely not critting that much. Ah, here it is. Okay. I knew wandering around would get me somewhere. Usually does. Gore's Tome. That's a scrapper, for sure. Um, it's good, but it's not that good. Uh, especially not at this point in the run. You like to see it a little more around the midpoint. Okay. Uh, I think we have exhausted all of our chests here, at least the ones that we're going to bother to spend time to get. And 
I think I am gonna go for a one looper this time, like I mentioned before. Fungus. And Monster Tooth again. The seventh one. That is a tougher times printer that I am going to exploit the hell out of. That is not a tougher times printer. That is a key printer. I was mistaken. Damn it. Oh, and by the way, curse my hubris. I'm going for this chest. Time is so important, but so are the glasses, you see. Everything will work out just fine, if you just believe in the Tesla coil. Okay, let's realign the teleporter here, start looping, get our first loop under us. Alright, there we go. <laughs> nice and simple. Razor wire on engineer is a very strong tactic. I, uh, I very much like the molten perforator. I don't know how much it's actually doing for us, but it looks really cool. And as far as I'm concerned, if that's all an item really needs to do, it'll probably be good at dealing with larger groups of enemies. Um, although it's probably much, much better on or you can direct it a little more. I would love a focused convergence. It takes so long to charge the teleporter as a default. It takes like two minutes ish, like a minute and a half. I think in the first game on Monsoon, it takes two minutes or three minutes even. Part of the difficulty of Monsoon in that one. Man, I'm just the crit master. I guess I do have 40% plus. Um, I'm, I've got a harvester side as well, so 45% crit is actually a little more than I think I have. Nearly half, actually. Alright, loop number one. This is where we're gonna start seeing the spooky elites. Ah, uh, Distant Roost, that is the name of this zone that I forgot the name of last time. Man, between the energy drink and the frickin' red whip, we're schmoovin'. S-H, movin'. Uh, that is a beetle. No, we're not gonna keep it scary. Let's get out of here. Yeah, the, the fireworks and the crits, very, very good. Red head stompers. <laughs> Both of these are scrappable if we come across a red printer, and they're definitely items I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Or both of these reds, I should specify. And having reds you can scrap is pretty spooky because those can become. Um, what are they? Not keys. It's like two or three. Uh, head stomper printer is kind of ironic, considering our luck with our red this floor. <laughs> but we unfortunately will not take it. And, uh, Evil Queen, no light. Get out of here. Yep, and here goes the Tesla coils and the ukuleles. 
Thanks. Ah, uh, late game risk of rain. So refreshing. Like a nice cool glass of lemonade going down here at the 40 minute mark. Getting out of stage 6, 8, 6, 6. Getting out of stage 6. Once we hit stage 10, we will be able to fight the final boss, and I think I will do so. Oh my god, the the overloading effect is so good on the turrets. And I bet the blazing effect isn't bad either. Yeah, look at it go! Okay, yeah, Wake of Vultures is actually pretty strong on the engineer. I discounted it. The uh, the blazing and overloading effects are a lot stronger when you have turrets that are constantly shooting it. I, uh, yeah, I saw, like, a bunch of bunch of stacks of fire on that one guy that they were fighting. Uh, I did pick up a secondary magazine somewhere, and that is definitely something I can get rid of. Glacial blazing engineer turret. Best of both worlds. And uh, honestly, the glacial effect is usually not actually good, um, but on the engineer turret, it could have a specific because the engineer turrets can die without failing the run. So that is uh, worth considering as a an upside to the Wake of Vultures. I hear a stone golem, or a stone titan, I should say. Oh, there was an Elder Lemurian behind us. How rude. Ground's temperature begins to rise. I don't know exactly what that means. I think it might mean that we are guaranteed a magma worm as the stage boss. <laughs> I picked up a. I, I did a stomp. I used the head stompers. Are you proud of me? I don't know. Head stompers are, are fun, but they're more fun for the music. You know, I would be much more into it. Okay, let's actually do some looting on this floor. Not just putz around fighting stuff. Distraction turret. Go get him. Uh, Topaz brooch is going to be nice for us. Double our current Topaz brooch sustain, however little that ends up being. a printer. There, we still do have that five white scrap we're not using. So I appreciate something worthwhile in this one and not a freaking key or another freaking cautious slug. Come on, dude. I have the worst luck with white printers right now. And being on stage seven, it's so weird now because like um, before the 1.0 update, your win condition was obliterating, right? So stage 8 was your was your goal stage. But now it's stage 5 and a bit, you know? Like, the stage 5 teleporter gets you to the final stage. So, um, if you can get past that, then you have the right to win, you know? And it means that runs that win can be a lot shorter, which is cool. Um, but it, it's messing with me, because I'm so used to stage stage. And the stage 7 teleporter gets me all the damn time um, when I'm going for monsoon runs. If the run gets there, anyway. Ooh, Renault's band. Very nice to have the dual proc fully online. So much stuff. Right. thank you for the frenzy, lads. I will take my movement speed and move along. Mm, Bandolier, Paul's Goat Hook. Uh, let's pick up another ATG. Such chaos. Such chaos. Fireworks are great. I love fireworks. Alright, I might be busted enough to beat the final boss. Who knows? Find out. Um, I 
definitely want to get out of here, though. I know vaguely where the teleporter is. I believe I've seen it, but you know how my brain is. It will probably be unlikely that I even noticed it. Alright, what's happening? Oh, that's where I spawned. Oops. I think that's the very first... Uh, it's actually the second turret I placed. Uh, the Tesla coil's doing enough work on its own, you know? <laughs> Why, uh, what is it? Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Is that misogynist? I think that's misogynist. I shouldn't say that. Whatever. Oh, my. Okay. Um, maybe I should have put down my turrets for support before doing this. Huh! There's the head stomp. I don't even... I still don't think it's that good. They buffed it. But I still don't think Headstomper is that good. Yeah. Fear me hiding behind this rock. I don't need direct line of sight to shoot your toes. Okay, Rose Buckler. Oh, yes. Yes! Explosions! Oh, this game is so fun. This game is so fun. Turrets are so good at stacking up lead, I'm sure. Is that a print? Oh, it's slugs. Okay. 91. Come on, move portal. How much is our is our monster tooth healing us for? Like 40% or something, something stupid like that. That would be awesome. I think it's 5%, but uh, I do not know the numbers at all. <laughs> Jesus. Getting two of these would be pretty fun, but I don't think it's... Yes! Yes, I will take it. I lost one of my razor wire, but Nikahana's is so, 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 so good for uh, Engineer with the bustling fungus. That I think it would be a foolish choice to not take it. I don't care which stage three I get. Or stage two, I suppose. Yeah, a bit of a bummer that I'm not taking any lunar items, but I don't think the um, that there whatever whatever it's called. I don't remember the exact name, but the chisel looking thing. Um, I do not think that is important for us right now. We are really strong, and we probably could deal with it, but uh, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, and that Nikahana's opinion is going to be super, super, super useful for us. Hello? Oh, I guess they're going for the greater risk. heal us, because we have several harvester sides. We might only have one now. No, we have two. Um, we have two harvester sides, um, so everything, every crit is healing us. We've got 45% crit because of the aforementioned uh, crit items that we've accomplished. Or accumulated, I should say. Uh, and because of that, we are charging up our Nukahanas pretty quickly. I find that more so than other classes engineer benefits from a defensively focused item set. Uh, it makes sense given their playstyle, but it is especially true um, when it comes to trades like that, where you're trading um, good offensive items for items like Nakamanas, because
because the healing that you get from Fungus is so extreme that it charges up the Kana's right quick. Uh, I do want the second Fungus. I would take the Soldier Syringe, because the faster my turrets are shooting, the better I'm doing. But, uh, the Bustling Fungus is just too important for us. Shield Generator is not the thing I want to see in a printer. I might just be too picky. There's a lot of, but there's a lot of good whites, you know, and white printers show up all the time. Okay. Oh, that is a freezing uh, bison. That is not a fun time. I will take my third jump. side again. Um, every single healing item we get makes us that much stronger offensively. Because of our Nekohana's opinion get from the shot earlier. Hellfire Tincture is so strong. So strong. Look at this. Look at this nuts o stuff. Not nuts P or Q. It is nuts up. Uh oh, hey, Deathmark. Do we even have the memes? Um, I believe we do. With the tri tip dagger, the molten perforator. Um, do we have a chrono bobble or did we get rid of a chrono bobble? We do not have a chrono bobble. We do have a null stand. So I I think we are actually three out of the four. I'm neglecting my mind when I really should be, because they are incredibly strong. They do 600%. Um, the stationary mines do a lot more damage, but they take, uh, they take a while to arm. And uh, you need a lot of pre-planning to get the best, uh, best results out of those. But uh, they, the, res the best results are insane on them as well. So, you know. Celestial Portal appears. Not my time, thank you. Alright, we have our third jump. I love Hopu Feather. I love it. It's a, a really good example of the, uh, the stacking design decision being, which is so good. <laughs> the, uh, the decision to make items stackable was a very smart one and leads to a lot of very fun interactions when you get a bunch of stacks of stuff. Okay, ooh, things are getting expensive. Costs nearly 1800 bucks to get these green multi-shops. are looking for that alloy unit as soon as we can. And we've got a pretty good set of spawns here. We're already at the distant worrying. Yo, what is going on with the 3D printers? Why are they only giving me cautious looks? I bet it's just the game plan tricks. Alright. Here we go. That's a scavenger. Okay, that complicates things slightly. That's okay, because we have our death mark up. 
and we have our razor wire going. It's done. It's already done. Come here, buddy. Come here. Face the might of my engineer. Come here. Such chaos. Such a good, such a good run. Aegis! Aegis is like probably the best item on Engineer. <laughs> probably the single best red to get at this point in the run. So, so good for us. Let's get another fuel so I don't. Even though we haven't really been using our extra charges. Yeah, and we're sitting pretty. With that Aegis, our turrets will be essentially invulnerable, as long as they are within the fungus radius that I have set up for them. Well, guillotine is probably the best item out of there. Let's get a random green, because it's more interesting. We get another bandolier, which honestly is not very interesting. Um, bandolier has long since outlived its usefulness for us. I suppose. And that's one of the things I like about the Scrapper, is that no item is technically fully dead. It can be close to dead. You can, you know, get... You can hold a bunch of white scrap in your inventory for multiple stages, because you got unlucky. Um, but I think the Scrapper is a really fun uh, trade-off. It's a very interesting uh, decision-making platform, if that makes sense. We are so strong. We are so insanely strong. Let's pick up our second death mark and become a little stronger. Oh, medkit? When did I get that? Huh? I don't it couldn't have dropped from an enemy. It had to have dropped from a chest or something. I don't see it like a miracle down here. It's so weird. But uh hey, I'm not gonna. Um, we picked up a Predatory Instincts recently, and that is a pretty nice item for us. It's going to help our turrets shoot a little faster, which is something that um, I definitely am interested in. I don't think I've actually fully explored this stage, really, so um, after the teleporter goes out, I think we're going to have a short little cruise up the top. Honestly, like, we don't even really need to do a whole lot of work here. We could just let our ETG and our Tessa Coil and our everything else go to work. But, uh, you know, what's the point in that? What's the point in that? It's no fun, right? Okay, teleport's done. So let's quickly take a stroll up this way. <laughs> there is no contest. Nothing even stands a chance against us. Not these little weenie boys, anyway. Maybe a big scary boss, maybe. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like I missed too much when I skipped this place. But I think I see a closed chest over here. And that is no fun. See, a stun grenade. Totally not worth it. Although, this big chest, 3, 2, 1, red? No red. Feels bad. Forced to. Feels bad. <laughs> rounds. Very nice. Alright, I'd call that worth it. We got, what, three extra items just for not being a impulsive little man. Okay, sky metal. There's a scavenger in the background, I see. I am not actually interested in anything in that green empty shop. Oh my god. 
our turrets are so good at stacking up those bleeds, dude. We're at like 60 bleeds, 70 bleeds. What? Oh, I think the, the scavenger had an interstellar desk plan. Oh, one of those items was a glasses. One of them was a rejuvenation rack. Are you kidding me? Yo, that is incredibly rare. Oh, Chrono Bobble. Yo. Okay. We're nuts. Still pit so my turrets can stay in relative safety for longer. Let's get out of the way of this engine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the health bar. Look at the health bar. Look at the health bar. What a champ. What a champ. Look at this turret. This turret is unstoppable. What a champion. Oh my god, he's airborne! He's airborne! Oh no! I can't possibly fight him in the air! Oh my god, that looks hilarious. Okay, let's put another turret down near his friend. Five tougher times. Come on, dude. Just get out of here. Okay, we have so much money. We shouldn't really be messing around. Fungus. Fungus good. I'm used to fungus being bad, but it's not. Okay, this run is pretty nuts. He... Sure, let's pick up the turret. There is almost no downside to spending money. We have so much. Ah, uh, okay. It, it, one loop is a very comfy little run length here. Let's pick up this big chest. We definitely have the resources too. That's a red. That's ceremonial daggers. You know it. You know it. Every run. It's got to show up sometime every run. I swear. Scavengers out of that combat shrine it scares the crap out of me. But it's okay, because we're nuts. We're actually insane. The amount of nuts we are exceeds one. It's at least, like, 1.01. .01. And that, honestly, like, considering that I've lost where this joke is going, um... That's a, a pretty good rate, if I must say so myself. Was the joke going somewhere in the first place, I think, is the actual... Excuse me, the actual question. That was a very weird feeling. I just, like, choked on a bit of my own saliva while I was talking. It's very weird. <laughs> Stomper is a little weird with the Hoku feather jump, looks like. Okay, tougher times. Look at our item list, it's so expansive. Okay. We definitely need to get out of here, though. Get to the final boss. But the, the loot, dude, it's just so tempting. Oh, you know what that medkit must have been? It must have been a leftover scavenger item from before. That makes sense, because the scavenger bag will be spawned after a little while. Yeah, okay, so the Head Stompers makes your first jump bigger. Um, and it seems that if that first jump is a Hoku Feather jump, you just go. Oh my god, how many stun grenades do we have? Five? Okay. 
If that gasoline is the only white printer we have, I will take it. I have not seen another printer in any items. I hope you can hear me over the crit sound effects, because they are incredibly loud. Okay, I guess I'm getting a bunch of gasoline. Feels wrong, but there's no downside to it. And, um, our fireworks will help us keep up our damage. See, who needs turrets, honestly? I, I'm forgetting about my turrets, that's how strong we are. Yeah, yeah, that is a funky interaction, but I am going to exploit the hell out of that. Look at the distance off that! Compared to the other jump, like here. It's just not even a contest how much farther up that goes. Uh, have I checked up here? Watch, printer. No printer, I have checked up here. I'm a smart dude. Okay, definitely spent a good amount of time on this stage, so let's just skedaddle. Okay, scavenger as our finale boss for the final boss, if that makes sense. Okay, I hope this uh, razor wire thing still works. Oh, seems to. That is for certain. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Yeah, this run might be strong enough to just outright nuke Mythrix before he even gets a chance to hit us, and that would be awesome. That seems to be the dominant strategy for uh, beating the final boss, is just getting your licks in before he can even take all your items. That's why I've been going for loops. There we go, got that Malachite enemy out of the way. Oh. Oh, I'm a Malachite now! Get shit on. I am so strong. I'm really going to be terrified of the final boss. <laughs> I wonder how we'll do on the, the final stage, because the enemies there um, are designed to be only accessed on, only accessed on the final stage. So, uh, I wonder if those enemies are going to cause too much trouble for us, even though we are an hour into this run and we did get pretty good items, too. This run is pretty nuts. In fact, I have no doubts that we will be able to deal with the first two phases without any trouble. Um, and it's going to take the boss a little while before he gets the tougher times out of our inventory. So we have a good amount of space for burst before he really gets able to dodge all of that. Do I want to get a shaped glass? Perhaps. Um, if given the opportunity... But I do not know if that would be actually a good idea. Portable minefield. Oh my god, the turret is so strong. Hi friend. Have a turret. heal me for a hell of a lot more than I think, because Nukahana's opinion is just going so far for us. Okay, turret time. Who 
Holy! Okay, yeah, these enemies do not mess around. Their base HP is pretty nasty. But our turrets have a load of sustain from all of the crits and the fungus and all of that. That was so close. Uh, that was like a big hit from one of the flying dudes. And that would probably have done a pretty nasty amount of damage to us if it had the opportunity to hit, honestly. Um, I've learned to fear the large hits from these enemy types. They are quite spooky. See, and like, the thing is, if a Nukahana's opinion crits, it heals me. <laughs> so like, uh, when my crits heal me, I can get more crits off of it, which heals me more, which gets me more crits. It's, a uh, very nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The one-shot protection was so freaking good there. If I had a shape glass on, I would have died. Um, so, I don't think I'm going to take the shape glass given the opportunity, because I, the second phase of the boss is these enemies. See, it's not entirely worthless to fight them, it's just mostly worthless to fight these enemies. I would appreciate some more items on the last stage. Feels weird not uh, having like a big finale, a big power up moment before going into the final boss. I appreciate what they were going for though. There's a lot of people who are pooing the final boss, and I understand the complaints. Um, getting all of your items taken away is a pretty annoying, and um, the final result uh, is not uh, very fun <laughs> in some circumstances. But uh, I think the final boss is totally fine, honestly. I haven't unlocked the captain yet, so, like, you know, I am kind of annoyed that it's taking me away from Captain, but at the same time, uh, I'm not going to end this 1.0 sort of quote-unquote series until um, I get Captain and play him for the first time. That is when I'm planning on ending it. So, I'm glad I get to keep this 1.0 uh, series going, at least for the time being. I've showcased a good variety of characters. some damage. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. So the flying enemies backpedal away from you, so if you can get above them, you can backpedal them down into the ground. Oh, I didn't check the... I didn't check the cauldrons. I don't really need to. Oh. I was kind of hoping I could do a little bit of pre-setup, but uh, apparently not. You know what? I bet these I bet these mines make them fuck them up though. Yeah, place our turrets in a place where they can poke him. And then bug him ourselves so that our turrets can do most of the work. Yeah, this run is pretty good. Uh, 
so far, this run's looking alright in terms of the ability to keep hitting this. Um, I'm gonna have a bit of trouble dodging the weirdo patterns, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad. Yeah, my turrets take a good amount of damage from that, but they have the rejuvenation rack, so they are more than able to deal. Let's just stay above him, try and keep our aerial advantage here, because Mithras is not too well in the air. I really thought that was it, if we're being honest, but our tougher times is really making it work here. One more. I'm... What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot about that one. Damn! Okay, I think Engineer is the strat, though. I think Engineer with one loop is the strat. I just need to remember that he spawns an ad, basically. All right, well, that was a really, really, really good run. I have a really good feeling about the next one. I think I'm going to go with Engineer again and do a similar strategy. Either way, if my gameplay and or commentary improved your day even just that little bit, Make sure to use the avenues YouTube has provided you to tell me that I'm doing a good job. Those would be the like, comment, and subscribe buttons. Make sure to give your pets a little bit of extra love for me today, and I will see you next time.